What's up guys, welcome back to another video. I can't open my mouth 100% because I have gauze in the back corner. Tooth is doing better. As long as I keep gauze and some sort of cream on it, it feels a lot better and if I drink more water because then it doesn't stay as dry and then it doesn't hurt as much. But right now it doesn't hurt at all. It's just kind of annoying because I have to keep the gauze bit down on. But Boo is sleeping this morning. He's being super cute. And Andreas slept over last night as you guys could tell because he finished yesterday's video like a Hi. champ. He did it like a pro. Uh, just finishing up editing and then we're gonna head out. And Four minutes left. Four minutes left. <laughs> uh, and then we're gonna head out, we're gonna bring Andreas home, and then we have a couple errands to go run. Oh, you can see my shadow. Whoa, my head looks huge. My head, like the shadow of my head is <laughs> massive. It's like this whole thing right here, oh my god. Guys, I can't put this like on Final Cut, so I'm gonna have to show you on my computer. You can totally put it on Final Cut. No, I can't. It doesn't read it. it I'm telling you, it doesn't. Can you sing one more for me? <laughs> Gigi, you're so cute. You're so blurry. You're so cute. And look at him here. Oh my gosh, my little angel. Oh, I loved you so much. Talk now. Oh, I want to talk. First, you have to talk, and then I show you after. Hi. Hi, what's your name? Uh, Monica. What? Michael. No. Andreas. Andreas. Did you fart? Yeah. Let me hear. I want to hear you fart. Uh, Can I see it? But yeah. oh, you're so cute. I love you so much. Oh, my God. I have to leave uh, Alex's house because I need to do homework. Kick him out. Yeah, we're, they're kicking me out. I, I was too mean to the puppy. No, you, that's not true, guys. He was hitting him. And <laughs> Look. He's a little precious. He's a little precious. Don't bite me. Yeah, let's get some toys. Get the toys. Da -na -na. Da -na -na. Okay, he doesn't want it. We're bringing Boo over to my parents right now. We just dropped Andreas off. It's like our little test because as you know, Fabio's very, very territorial. He's a rescue, so he has a lot of issues. And we're a little nervous to bring Boo over, but we figured on a quiet morning when they're not as hyper and both my parents are home, it might be good because we have a dinner at my parents tonight, so if it doesn't go well now, then we just won't bring Boo later tonight. Dan and I are quite nervous, but we're trying not to be because we know that like the dog is gonna pick up on our vibes. So Boo is doing a very good job. He's a little wet from the rain. He's such a handsome puppy. You did a good job. He's didn't so you? cute. Look at him. He's scratchy. Yeah, because it's wet. Oh my god, don't film the fur in my room. I can't see it. Oh, don't eat the fur. Oh my god, Lucifer. I call him Lucifer. Why? Because he's a little Lucifer. It's not red, it's not puffy. If there was a blood clot, then it would just close naturally. Good boy. You want to go see Lola again? Good boy. Oh, and Lola. Do you still have painkillers? Lola, you're fresh. No, now I'm just doing bad though. Good boy. Wait, that's, what, that's what it is. All the cute. positives from your kids yeah. without the negatives. Yeah. You don't have that so cute they're bad. It's like, well, you take care of him. He's yeah. like a little teddy bear. <laughs> Boo. Hi, baby. Oh. Yeah, he's sleepy. He needs to sleep. He's so cute. He's really tired from yesterday, too, because yesterday he didn't nap as much, and then we took him home, and you like Andreas him was over, and... He only went to bed at like 10.30. He's really acting for the camera. He's being like... He likes Kyla and Lauren's laps too. Yeah. yeah. But it's because he saw them from a very young age, so he knows them really well. Yeah. And oh Kyla comes God. over like every second day. Are you? <laughs> he likes too. He's like, oh, he's back, back, 
Oh, we watched watched the video of when we went to pick him up and he was in the little box when we showed up. Oh my my god, he was so cute. cute. He was so little. Oh, he's a biter. He just yawned and then closed on him. This is really like the age that people get the dogs. Three or four months. Oh my goodness. You guys look like brother and sister. Whoa. So now it's better. Here, walk with it. Are you filming? No, the camera's off. Oh. But I was filming Boo before. Good daddy. What's your daddy? <laughs> you guys will be able to see this angle in the vlog. That's so cool. Let's see what it looks like. <laughs> wow. But I can go like super fast. And it like doesn't move. Wee. <laughs> oh, it got really blurry there. Oh, whatever. We'll just have to work with the focusing and stuff. So you like it? Yeah, it's cool. But if we're doing lookbooks, this is good because I can do like like shoes, pants, you know, and then shirts and just go like that. <laughs> Pretty cool. You're so cute. Oh, the blue shirt. The blue shirt. I want to test the blue shirt. <laughs> I'm gonna test the boo, the little Is it baby automatic? boy. Is this... Yeah. Oh, oh my yes. god, that's so cool, babe. It needs to be a little faster though. I need to adjust the settings. Cause see, when I turn, it'll yeah. follow me eventually. But look how it's see it's slow. delayed. <laughs> so we're back, but I brought my actual good camera. Kylo's coming back after. And Lola's here. They get on really, really well, actually. He's a little nervous because she's Lola's a bit bigger, but Lola's really good with him. Oh yes, Nini. Come here. Good boy. You wanna play? You wanna play with her? Oh, oh. that's a good boy. He's so cute. That's a good boy. <laughs> Lola's like hi. Yes, hi Lola. Hi. Although uh, he put his paw on Lola and then licked her face a bunch of times. Oh, yeah. yeah. She knows he's a baby. Yeah. Lola got scared of this. <laughs> I squeaked it and she like caught out. <laughs> it's your favorite dinosaur. I showed her in the car. It's like Don't show them. Kind of brown and yellow gross underneath. It's whatever it is that's secreting from the socket. It's like a scab on the bone. Like I don't know how to explain it. It's like a crater. When I look really closely with the flashlight, I think I can see part of my like my jawbone, like white bone poking through. Yeah, that's a, that's definitely. Yeah. A, ow! He got you. <laughs> like this. No, it's definitely a dry socket, 100%. But I'm gonna go to the dentist tomorrow. They open at eight. I'm just gonna go at eight. I don't have an appointment, and they're closed today, so I'm not calling ahead of time. I'm just gonna show up and be like, it still hurts. Help so me. help me, please. But if the dentist only shows up at eleven, then would you have wasted time? No, because the hygienist will help anyways. I don't need yeah. like the dentist, but why would he show up at 11 when they open at 8? Sometimes, you know, like the doctor shows up later, it's just the nurses that work at the beginning. I don't know, when I, I pulled my tooth at 8.30 and they offered me 8 o'clock. Okay. So, I'm assuming they do, they do actual extractions and stuff at 8, so... Anyways, we'll do that tomorrow morning. Oh my god, this is homemade pizza, guys. I'm having a little piece from this one. It's so good. And there's a salad over there, homemade chili. And there's a vegetarian one for me. Mm. Oh, in What's in the oven? That's the lentil. lentil casserole. Oh my gosh, we are having a feast. <laughs> <laughs> okay, for dinner tonight, we have no, some no. vegetarian chili, which my dad made, looks so good. We have a lentil rice casserole, which my mom made, which is my favorite. I love this. Vegetarian pizza, which I don't know who made this, but looks really good. And some salad, which is amazing. I don't know who made it, but looks really good. And um, everyone else is having their chili. Mm. My mama's here. We have meat. Kyla and my mom. It's one of my favorite moments of the week. I love it. And daddy, we have some requests in the comments for some, uh, some answers about some questions that people have. So afterwards, if you wouldn't mind maybe answering a few mm. questions, mm -hmm. they would like your advice. He's got his ball. Okay. He's so excited about his ball. He's so excited about the ball. Then once it boils, and it's sitting for an hour, 
Then you can put it on there. Yes. But you I, put more water in. No. I love how he comes on my lap. I know, he yes. loves as you. As soon as I sit down, he loves you. Daniela, I hope, Daniela, you don't mind that I'm saying your first name, but Daniela asked for some advice from you on what you think about her having uh, her parents fighting all the time and what should she do as a daughter when it happens nonstop, in her opinion. Oh, that's so sad. Uh, she probably thinks that it's her fault, but that's the last thing she should think. I mean, it's definitely not her fault. Sometimes people just uh, stop communicating and they are mad at each other and they start yelling rather than sit back and listen to what the other person is saying and take it to heart. But as a daughter in a and watching that, it's very hurtful, but it has nothing to do with you. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's not really much you can do as a daughter or as a son, but uh, just try to understand that uh, it's not your fault and that uh, they can see, the parents can see eventually that each other one has their point of view and that they should really listen to each other. They say it's always that communication is the key to a happy marriage, mm -hmm. but it's not just talking. It's like really listening to what the other person has to say and taking it to heart and trying and putting the effort in to make sure that uh, you're both on the same track, you know. Mm -hmm. So when it gets to the point where you're yelling at each other every day and you're just, there's a lot of negativity there and uh, it's very tough to beat. It's a kind of like a landslide once you start going down that path. Mm -hmm. So you try and slow it down by uh, not yelling not screaming and when somebody yells at you like if they're yelling at each other and when you go to talk to them or you're in the middle of a fight or something if you do talk to them talk to them in a very calm voice and keep talking that way and eventually they come down and they start talking calmer too sometimes they get annoyed they will get annoyed but you know it's not her problem in the sense that it's nothing that she can solve yeah it's not it's not like it's you can go people in people that are just yelling yeah. all the time it's a sad situation yeah but it's nothing to do with her but for way. her, she shouldn't get involved, like she shouldn't try and, or should she? Not in the subject per se, Yeah. but maybe in the attitude. Not negative attitude. Not negative, like bring a positivity. Bring your own shine in front of them, you know? Show happiness, show love, show compassion, which is the opposite rather than yell, right? Yeah. And then eventually keep doing that and you tear down that wall of negativity and hopefully they'll start seeing the way you're acting and start acting that way a bit themselves. That was beautiful, so in, Dad. In, 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 this, in this particular situation, she's the one who's more mature. Mm -hmm. you know? So I really hope the best for her. Yeah. You're so Don't sweet. give up. Don't give up. I love you. I love you too, sweetie. <laughs> Daddy, you want to help end the vlog with me? Mm-hmm. What should they do? <gasps> what should they do? Who? Them, our friends. Oh. <gasps> oh, <God. gasps> no, oh my gosh. What? Don't forget to thumbs up the video oh, yeah. and subscribe. And subscribe if you like it. <laughs> Turn on your notifications. Mm hmm. <laughs> and guess what? We'll see you all tomorrow. <laughs> Bye.